All right, guys, in this video, um, a package arrived uh, at, uh, gosh, I think I've been gone in Yellowstone for about five days now. Sorry for the bumpy camera. My dog Bear is down here chewing on the bottom of my tripod, and it's making the camera bounce everywhere. But um, as you guys know, I've been doing a lot of live streaming uh, lately. <laughs> Bear, stop. I've been doing a lot of live streaming lately, and you guys probably haven't seen behind the scenes, but I'm going to spin the camera around. But this is kind of what I built myself for a green screen. It's a, um, it's like a square, like uh, PVC that I cut, as you guys can see there. It's just PVC that I cut in perfect squares. Bear, quit chewing on my tripod. And um, there's the, the legs that I built for it. I built like two T legs and then it's just a tiny little square piece there. Bear, would you quit chewing on my tripod? But that's all it was. It was just a square little five foot by five foot piece. Bear, stop chewing on my tripod. But That's all it was was that cheapy little piece right there. Okay, hey. So now, I'm gonna show you guys. Bear, would you stop? Hey, quit chewing on my tripod. See if I can show, look. This is what he's doing. He's like chewing. Hey, all right, stop, <laughs> stop. Stop chewing on my tripod. Okay, look, there, okay. See, look, hey, hey, bear, there you go. Okay, so anyway, this is what I've been excited to show you guys. You guys saw my little rinky dink green screen. Um, let me try backing this up just a little bit here. That way you guys can get a little bit more of a visual. There you go. Okay. So basically, I'm not going to go into, you know, all of the details as to what everything is. But basically, in this box here, in this package here, is my new green screen kit. It's about 50 pounds or so. It comes in this huge, um, big duffel bag here that I'm going to show you guys. Um, I'm finally retiring the ghetto green screen that I made almost a year ago. And I finally purchased myself... A, a full, like, what are you doing? You've gone crazy. You've gone mad. Um, I finally got myself a full-blown uh, professional um, green screen kit. So I'm very excited to bring this to you guys. Sweet, so we've got a little quick reference guide. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys all the pieces that comes in it, and then I'm going to build it and then show you guys like an after video of kind of what's, how it looks afterwards so all right bear you see this so basically this thing comes with it looks like three screens if I remember right I want to say the one I ordered only came with the green screen so I guess it's kind of a bonus you like that bear I guess he approves of this so it does come with a black screen in case I want to use a black screen so we at least have a black screen to go to hang up there do you mind? What is your issue? Um, it does come with a actual green screen, which is, I believe these are supposed to be a 10 by 12. They usually have a 10 by 20, but I did a 10 by 12 because I don't need a 10 by 20. That's for huge photo shoots. But I do have a green screen here. And it looks like they've given me a white screen as well. Don't know what I would use the black or white for, but they gave them to me nonetheless. So, we've got those all situated. Looks like we've got a little bag here as well. What do we got inside this bag? I'm excited to show you guys all this because I'm gonna get it all set up and show you guys what it looks like afterwards. Ah, so, this is actually one of the, uh, nope, don't chew on that. <laughs> this is one of the soft boxes here. It's actually like a nice uh, material. And then what it does is, is it opens up here in the middle like that and then you put your light down in there and then this allows you to uh, you know to show the light off on your screens um, there are three lights to this there's going to be a hair light what a lot of people call it or a boom light and then there's going to be two other soft boxes on each side which are going to project the light as well would you quit trying to chew on everything so there's that one there no don't chew on my case either beer you're killing me all right so there's that it looks like we've got one of our other soft boxes here. 
We've got another one of our soft boxes here. So here's our other two soft boxes that are going to be projected from each side. Hey, no, don't chew on my case, man. You're killing me. Uh, looks like here's all the bracketing and stuff. Here is uh, some of the bracket for the uh, the boom light there. You got that. There you go. Go play with the cat. Good job. Here is our one big light here for the actual boom light. That's a very massive light there. So that we got one of those. Here's all the rods and the stands for the backdrop and the actual soft boxes. There's another piece there. This actually is the actual stands here for the soft boxes, the outer two lights there. So there's the two stands there. And then we have these, I believe, are, yeah, these are actual. This is what's going to go inside the actual softbox. So there's your four bulbs that are going to go into each softbox there. And then obviously you have each bulb. So there's going to be a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bulbs. So there's going to be four per softbox. And then you've got the one large one that goes in the boom. So there you guys go. There's all of the unboxing of all the materials that comes in the new green screen kit that I picked up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, figure out how to put this thing together and when we come back we'll do a little after video of it and see what it looks like from there. Alright, so here's the finished project about 45 minutes later. Um, I can tell you right now that the actual green screen setup, um, I didn't mention in the beginning of it but it's by ePhoto. It's, uh, um, it's a full complete green screen setup. Um, I'm very, very cramped where I'm at because it's a very large setup. It's actually a 10 by 12. So what I'm going to end up having to do is, is right behind, as you guys can see there, right there is where my son normally sits and then my daughter sits right over there. I'm going to have to rewire their computers to go into their rooms and then I'm going to have to take this whole green screen and line it all the way up against the wall. Because as it is right now, these poles they range 10 feet wide and then the actual screen itself is 12 feet long so I just kind of have it down and rolled up underneath so I've got um, a soft box there with the diffuser on it another soft box right there with the diffuser on it and then as we spin around the back side of it that's kind of what it looks like from the back side and we've got a cat laying in it with bear playing with the cat so <laughs> we've also got the boom light, which I'm not using just yet, um, I'm I, like I said, I'm, I've ran out of room, so I've got to completely rewire where the kids are at. But there's the boom light or the hair light, which will actually go above, up and over, and shine light down on top of my head to kind of light things up even more. But I'll kind of show you guys another angle of it here. Um, so there's kind of how it looks uh, from this side of things. And then the actual soft boxes themselves have a, uh, there's two light, there's actually four lights. So this one will turn off the left two, this one will turn off the right two. And then the actual boom light has got this massive bulb in it that uh, does really, really good job. So, but there you guys go. It actually looks pretty good. I've been testing it with the green screen. Everything looks phenomenal, looks so much better. The problem that I'm running into, like I said, is I'm just, I'm running out of room. So I'm going to have to rewire the kids' the setups and move them back. That way I've got a little bit more room. That way I can raise these soft boxes up, angle them a little bit more, and get a little bit more, uh, <clears throat> a little bit more room to move my screen back along this back wall. That way also it will alleviate all of the echoing that you guys hear in our Family Game Nights videos because you guys can see my son sits there, my daughter sits just to the right. That's why you guys get a lot of the echoing. So hopefully if I move their computers into their rooms and set that up, it'll help out on that, on that side of things. And you can see Bear's already tearing into my green screen. So, all right guys, well, there's that one there. Um, like I said, hopefully you guys will notice a big significant difference in the green screen lighting for my live streams. And uh, I'll do another video once I've got everything set up uh, and set, you know, a little bit better.